up in your neck. No, they can't. No. Oh, fuck, you ain't no real Mexican, huh? I'm not bad, they can't. You ain't no real Mexican. <laughs> These are the size of the waterfall. These are the glove boxes. We're gonna wait to get the glove boxes. We're gonna repaint them because I'm too big. Why are you holding it up like that? Like a weirdo. It's better if you do it like this, like I'm doing it. Mira. That way you can put Watch it up. Let me see. Oh, fuck. You're a chingon, homie. <laughs> Sorry, homie. I'll take it off. It's the carapilla style. <laughs> oh, fuck. So the glass goes here. We'll paint this. We're gonna do like a little touch up right here. And then before we put the glass, we'll put primer, what is called some primer, special glass stuff. And then from there, we'll put a, we'll go ahead and put the glass in. You know what I mean? For those who have never, ever, ever tried this, don't try it. Part about this is that we can't take the dash off, you know? And get the shine back out. The hardest part about building a car to me is probably the finish. This right here, because this is what everybody gets to see at the end, you know what I mean? And uh, I do the metal work, I do the, the prepping, the finishing, you know, a lot of guys think, you know, the metal work's the hardest part or the, you know, it all comes together, but the hardest part is to make it look like this, you know what I mean, polishing it and finishing it, and to me it's like the hardest part of the whole build, you know what I mean. I mean the metal work is cool, it's it's it's, it's a lot of labor intense, you know, labor, like but uh this is like to make it look flawless in, in the paint, it's like where it's all at, you know what I mean? It's it's gotta be that's what everybody sees at the end, you know what I mean? So we ask everybody to leave a comment and see what they think, you know what I mean? Tell me what the hardest part out of the whole book. I know some guys that do cars that are, they watch the channel, so don't act like you're not watching, you know what I mean? So let me know what you think. Uh, this is like the seal. It's like a, it's a synthetic sealant 2.0. So basically, this is what's gonna seal. We'll, we'll put this on for about, we'll let it, we'll, we'll just smear it like wax. And we'll put it on and let it sit for about 45 minutes to an hour maybe. And then we'll come back and wipe it all down. It's like a sealant for every, all the compounds that we just finished putting on. So it looks, so it keeps that shine, you know, sealed. So we're gonna go ahead while we're waiting for it to dry, we'll, we'll put the primer on here. So we'll get ready to put it together and then we'll put the glass in. What do you think? Feed me? might not put it but like I said I try to do everything by the book homie. when it comes to cars homie, I got no other I don't know any other way you know what I mean might not, I might not know how to tie my shoes homie. but well, they got slip on boots for that man. you know what I'm saying but when it comes to vehicles dude I gotta do a feed mess down, oh man, I can't cut any corners, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So I'll put this right here, look. Oh, 
There's nobody that makes glove boxes for 39, at least I don't know anybody. If anybody knows who makes 39 glove boxes, let me know. Because you know <laughs> it might be a little late. Anyways, these will fit like the 38 or 37 to 39. But what we're going to do, since we can't find anybody that has them, I'm going to take them apart, the old one. This is the, I think this is the driver's side. And this is, I mean, this is the passenger side. This is the driver's side. So one's shorter than the other one. It's gonna be, it's gonna take a little time just taking the rivets off. We gotta save all these holes. We don't wanna destroy the box. There it is. Look at that. Whoa. So this is the pattern right here, bro. Check it out. Mm -hmm. And then we got this one. It's only two pieces. You know what we can do? We can get a piece of wood, staple it to the wood, and then we'll just trace it and then make them out of a wood. And then we can save the templates, right? And then we'll hang them up on the wall. It's been 1939, 37 to 39. Shoo! Love the way this smell, like that. Press down on this. Obviously, this is gonna be like that. This is gonna be like that. We got an idea. We'll draw it out a little better. And then, this is the back part. save these and if anybody wants a uh, restoring a Lincoln Zephyr and don't have any of this stuff shoot me a call or shoot me a text or shoot me whatever you want to shoot me just shoot me Yeah, 
Yeah, the, the thing for the pressure the squirts, it blows everything out. Oops. Pinchy marihuana. <laughs> Every day it's a holiday, every day it's a holiday. That's what's up, dude. Check it out. Little box in the house. We'll make the cap for it. What do you think? Simo? Come on, let's the tape up. The other side? Uh, you either go over on the inside? No, or? I got an idea. Or for the Yeah. Show! Hold on, man. Hold on. Just watch and see. Hold on. I'm going to eat this, man. If you can manipulate steel, I'm going to manipulate cardboard. <laughs> right, Carapila? I mean, why not, right? I can do whatever I want. It's my world. So basically, now we fold it like this. And I think it should work according to my calculations. Come on, let's go put it on. Carapila, what are you doing, cabrón? Who's your daddy? Huh? There's a ton of work doing this. These are the light bulb sockets for the for the 
dash, the speedometer, and everything that needs lighting inside, which is not a lot. It's just basically the clock and the speedo. Inside the speedo has has the, the oil pressure, the you know everything that runs the car, the, the amp. So this is what they look like. So I'm gonna restore them, I guess. So that way we have lights inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some wire and make them a 12 volt. I mean, yeah, 12, pretty much 12 volt. And uh, solder some new wire on it because it looks all messed up like that, see? So that's what we're gonna be doing. Everything takes time, everything takes time. So we got the crack pipe right here. No, I'm kidding, it's the soldering. Basically, get some solder, Just put the solder in there. Like that. Get a little bit of solder. And then we'll get these ready. And pretty much, let's see if I know how to do it still. It's been a while before. Some new bulbs in here. That's how many lights the Speedo has. Isn't that crazy? It's all harnessed. A lot of people have been asking about the probe. This is what the probe looks like. So, what you do is you hook up to a battery. The reason why they make it long is you can hook up to your car battery and then work inside. But I have like a little extra battery right here so I hook up on that when I do a uh, test on the... On stuff that I work on. So this is what it looks like. So it has like a little extra ground right here. And then it has like a positive and if you want to give ground. So the noise is to let you know if you're grounding. You can turn it off. I like to turn it off. So we're gonna do a quick test right here. So I have ground. And most of the time the lights are grounded. So if we do something like this, see how it turns on when it tells you you're on? Bow, it works. Tied out. So we'll do a test one by one before we put it on. Make sure that we have the right bulb in there and we don't have like a six bolt and then we're it before we put it on that way everything's all tested and make sure we we're hooked up all right that's all good and then we hook up to this one crap let's see I'm just gonna hold it on there. Ta da! Whoa, whoa. That's how it works. So now we can go ahead and install it. Power that's, probe. That's the power probe right there. I know you got. I know we haven't shown it like, but but that's what it looks like. Look, it has like a little speaker on here. You know, you touch it. So it tells you when you're powering it up. I don't know about that, but it also has like a little, uh, like if you overpower something that you're not supposed to power and it has a, you're, it's grounded. It has like a little fuse switch right here and it pops out. Psh, this thing's badass. If you're doing electrical or any testing, any stuff like that, this is a fucking chingon ass tool. Ta-da. Oh, it comes with the long extension in case you're working on a semi or something. 
<laughs> like a long car. So it comes with a super long extension. I hardly ever use that because I just work on cars. But anyways. <laughs> but this is not like the Chevy Dash at least, you know what I mean? It's a, it has a little bit more space. It looks a lot easier to work with down here than that Chevy we did not too long ago, you know what I'm saying? So, it's kind of, we'll test it out, see what it looks like. Lock. and then we haven't put this glove box in because obviously we're working underneath the dash oh shit sorry but we're gonna hook up the tail lights headlights gotta hook up some switches finish wiring it up because all i did is just wire up the ignition run the tail lights and the e and the air system so we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish wiring the rest and then we'll put the glove box in the glove door, I guess. All right, what's for lunch? <laughs> yeah. Gotta clean the wheels. the headlights because they're not obviously they weren't on so they weren't wired up and then we're gonna wire up the ignition put the ignition where it needs to be choke ignition uh, lighter and uh, headlight switch Dim dimmer switch hook up the gauges and uh, but it's been a while since It's been a while since I, uh, I wired, last time I, I started the wiring on the car and I only wired up the, the ignition switch, but I did it just so we can start it. Ran wire to the tail lights, but I didn't run wire to the headlights, so we gotta run wire to the headlights. And fasten everything down. The ignition's all hooked up. Obviously the car starts, everything works uh but there's no switches everything's hooked up hardwire like direct so well we have to wire pretty much not all the car but we're gonna wire up a lot of wiring the end of the wiring yeah, yeah the end of the wiring i know everybody's like fuck more wiring shit i feel the same way but it's gotta be done you know what i mean <laughs> like i'm tired of wiring too i'm ready to do some pounding on some metal you know what i mean some chop tops and stuff. We got a few chop tops lined up. I'm, all, I'm over this wiring and doing all this stuff. I want to do some grinding and cutting and welding and beating on some metal. My hands are getting all pretty and stuff. I don't even have no more calluses, dude. <laughs> Sanding them all, right? I simply, I have been doing nothing but water sanding and shit. So yeah. I'm fucking over this. So let's, let's just do this and get it over with and then get this car back on the road where it needs to be. So we can continue to have fun with the other bullshit. Oh fuck, I just cussed. Turn on the key. 
you know what's up. If you drive old Rafflas home, man, this is the way to go. You know what I mean? Working already, look. Works. How yow. Simone wants, we're almost there. Gotta put a grommet on there. On, and then I'm gonna go underneath and I'm gonna hook up the steering rod down there. I'm gonna do it from the bottom instead of the top. I can okay. do it from the bottom. Here, I can put it in. Yeah, well, the Lincoln Zephyr was made for a uh, for luxury house. Huh? It was supposed to be high end, you know what I mean? Gee, money, homie. You know what I mean? What do you think, dude? Check it out. It ain't going a spot. It ain't going. Right? 
Shut up, it up! Give me a three inch ratchet wrench. Ratchet wrench. Are those original or is that uh, up to market? What? The, this. That's original, dude. Let's put the side panel. Give me a rack so I can clean it. Let's see what happens here. Oh shit, it's missing the spring. I think I got a spring right there. Let's get the money shot though. Hell yeah. Get the cutters, Carapilla. The wires. But the back one, the front okay, one. Dale. Okay, that's it. Got it? I 
know if it's good. Who's your lights? Headlights? Yeah. Huh? Yep. The cherry red. 